All right, what we have here is my 2008 Cadillac. Um, I went to the store, <laughs> left, realized that my tire pressure was at 21, so I rushed home, came back out here later, found the tire to be completely flat. So, you know, I drove back and forth trying to identify a nail, but it looks like either the nail went through or it came out, which I can't tell, but I have located it. It's right there. So... It's a real quiet one, but I found it. So I'm just gonna show you what you gotta do if you happen to say you're on the side of the road and this happens to you. You can you can survive without having to call a tire guy and get you a new tire. What you want to have in your vehicle is a plug kit. You can get these at your local AutoZone, and it, it'll do the job. And when you plug your tire, it doesn't mean it's a temporary fix. It's good. It's going to hold you down as long as that tire holds you down. So don't think just because you put a plug in your tire, it means you got to replace your tire. In no way does it mean that. So with that in mind, you want to make sure you have one of these in your vehicle at all times. And you're going to have your, your hardware that's used for moving your wheel that comes with the vehicle. So like right now, you see I have this, that's because I'm at the luxury of my home, but when you're out there on the road, you're gonna have to use the accessories that come with your vehicle. But in the best case scenario, you wanna try to have whoever's with you, if you're lucky enough to build someone when this happens to you, have them drive the vehicle real slow, backwards and forward, so you can identify, so that you can try to identify where the hole is if you have the luxury of doing so. And if you are able to, you can actually plug that hole while it's still on the vehicle and then air up the tire so it's good to try to get you a little compressor like so <clears throat> keep that in the vehicle you never know when you might need it it has plenty of convenient features that can be useful got flashlight tire pressure gauge I mean it's great little things to have especially if you're always on the road and you don't want to be paying a lot of money waiting around on somebody <clears throat> alright so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to plug your tire Real simple. Let's do it. All right, just gotta get some little, little sunshine over here. All right, we got a hole right there. What you wanna do is, you wanna get your, your tool out, which is used for spreading the hole. This right here is your, what the, the plug goes into. And this right here is where it cleans the surface of the tire and opens it up so that you can properly insert that plug. So it's easy. That's why I'm doing it with one hand. All right. So what you want to do, tire is not going to explode. So a lot of people think that, but now nah, you get this thing in there like that. Just work it in there. Get it in there. Just go back and forth. Just like that. Real simple. It's back and forth. All right, that should be good enough. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread the the plug in here. So 
that's what you do. You simply get the plug out of the pack, like so. I'm gonna move my glove for this. You're just gonna need one plug. Um, if you got a issue on the sidewall you want to try to refrain from using these tire plugs on there but you can get away with doing so as a matter of fact my truck right here one of my tires got two plugs on the side right now and it's holding up real good so a lot of people are like oh it's gonna blow out and this shit ain't blowing out I ain't out here racing I'm just driving up and down the road so a plug will hold up just as well, as long as that tire will. Now, if you got one in a real crazy spot where there ain't no type of belting or support around where if you go around the slightest curve, it deforms the tire. Yeah, you might have some issues, but you can get away with it. All right, so this is how you get your, you thread it in like so. I don't know if I caught that on camera, but you just get that tip in there and you just pull it on through, get it about midways like this. And cement also you can also put a little bit of this around there help give it a little extra seal it comes with it might as well use it, it helps fill in all these little cracks and crevices in here and just give you that little extra bond so go ahead and throw a little rubber cement on that baby like so <coughs> I'm gonna remove this and when I take it out it's gonna go Let's twist that baby in there. Slow, steady pressure. And that's it. Just like that, we done. And then I pull it out. You should all be familiar with this. Pull it out. There you go. And like that, you have repaired your tire with a plug. So, very easy process. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it back out here. First of all, I'm gonna grab me a razor blade. I'm gonna cut this down, but out there on the road, you can get away with leaving on there. The highway gonna beat it down, but if you can, it would be nice to cut it down because you're going to probably feel that little knot for a few thousand miles or a hundred miles. So cut it off if you're able to. All right, so that's pretty much it, though. I hope this was helpful. You can actually do all this with it on the vehicle. If you're able to locate the hole and you get in a good position where you can get clearance to get all your arm movement going like you just saw me doing, but worst case scenario, you got to take it all off. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, this is your boy, Cap Kurt A. Rowe. And this concludes the video. I appreciate it, YouTube. My loyal followers out there. Y'all keep coming. Keep it coming. Share the videos, like, subscribe, and get some more content coming on this truck right here. So just stay tuned. Also, like I was telling you, um, I got a couple plugs on this baby. Just trying to show you how you can get away with it. See that right there? That's one right there. Another one right there. Put a little adhesive on that thing. See, they're kind of in good places where they're surrounded by a hard area, which is the tire tread. Now, if it was all the way over here in the middle of the sidewall, I would have been really SOL, but it's in a good spot where it can still get pressure, good tire pressure to keep that, that plug in place. So, it was fortunate enough for me that it worked out. But, hey, like I said, that's it. That concludes the video. And I'm out. Peace.